Hey guys, welcome back to FIFA 22 CF1 Abroad Korea Mo. And today I will, you know what, I'm gonna put it out there, guys. Um, I am gonna upload daily back again. Uh, yes, uh, for the past few weeks or for the past two months, I've been quite busy. You know what, family uh, coming over for vacation. I've been spending a lot of time with them. So of course, uh, of course, right now they they went back to Hong Kong, which means that I, you know what, I'll be. Uh, coming back to the desk right here doing this kind of uh, commentary for you guys or doing this kind of videos and hopefully I'll be uh, doing uh, more of a daily thing you know whether if it's a, a career mode or maybe MLB uh, the show of course MLB 22 the show I'm still kind of far off I know we have been uh, pretty much two uh, two months in the season and I only posted like 12 videos of them which means 12 games of them but eventually uh, I'll, I'll catch up don't worry about that but right here it's all about CF1 Abrada and yes uh, so far we have been doing I would say doing pretty good so far and of course right here we are playing against uh, a team uh, I forgot what, what the team name was but in the uh, Copa de España which is more of a very easy uh, cup fixtures and of course we're heading towards a January transfer window we spent a few million dollars actually on a youth scout another youth scout to booster to bolster the youth system and of course I have a lot of complaint in terms of the uh, the players that we have recruited for the past few months or for the past year or so haven't really seen uh, a player that actually you know what impresses me yet uh, it doesn't uh, the only player as i said it before uh i said a lot a, a lot of times it's actually our goalkeeper um who is i believe his name is Fuentes. but of course today in this game we are using our backup goalkeeper here i forgot his name but yes uh yeah right there we just conceded one goal and i knew it was going to happen i knew we we're going to concede we are pretty good at conceding goals in this game but you know what the only the only thing that we should beat the the other team or the only chance that we're going to beat another team is actually by scoring a lot of goals 3-1 it's the score so far and right there the other team is making a little bit uh making the game a little bit more interesting there the goalkeeper our goalkeeper our backup goalkeeper should have done better right there it's just he just so easily got beaten uh, at the near post and of course at that moment i'm actually panicking right here the goalkeeper makes a very fantastic save literally 12 more minutes to go and that's how the game ended 3-2 we are through to i believe uh to the next round and right here we receive a uh transfer offer for javi serrano of course 20 euro 69 rated not the best but of course um he still had the showing great potential tag not gonna sell him yet or or you know what he might be a very important piece to the future and right here we're going back to the uh, the league fixtures right here 55 points so far and we are four points away from the uh, from the second team and again uh so far this season has been quite successful i would say compared to last season we have been winning significantly more games than before but again, we just can't really let our guard down. And here comes the Navarro dribbling down in the middle to uh, Coindredi. And right there, we open up the score right here. Very easy goal. Very well worked goal overall in the 25th minutes. And we are taking the one nothing lead. And uh, 28th minute right here. The other team has a chance to uh, answer one back. A free kick from Sandro. It was just a few inches off. And even though it might hit it might hit the goal but i doubt it's gonna go in and right here we are not doing ourselves any favor jasper van der Waal right here just got himself a red card a very poor challenge and we are playing one man down and this is going to be troubling here comes lataro came off the bench actually today and right here take a shot but good save by the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper is trying to make uh the other team uh you know trying to get back in the game right here here comes Sandro it is a very tough it is a very tough game in general we have been pretty much defending throughout the whole game 78 minutes right here uh Huska has a chance to um uh to equalize that one but what a great save by Saquon Days uh coming from a free kick as well and that's how the game ended one nothing keeping a very important clean sheet we don't do that very often in this career mode we tend to uh we tend to 
uh, concede a lot and right there thank god we didn't do that even though even though yes we didn't concede a goal but again it is a it's a very it's a nice feeling of keeping clean sheet even though it is a very very tough one and right here we are playing against Villarreal uh the champion of Europa League from last season I believe actually no I don't think they want actually they did want it and this season uh, in real life, they have done a fantastic job actually in the um, in the Champions League run. But unfortunately, uh, was they were just a little bit short in the semifinal against Liverpool. But yeah, we are playing against Unai Emery. It is going to be a very tough fixture again. Uh, just a little bit unfortunate, unfortunate with the uh, team that. We pick to be honest right here, and of course uh, Parejo right there. Uh, try to make us uh, try to take a shot, but good save by goalkeeper. And I'm not expecting much from uh, honestly not from this game because again, um, our level and their level is so much. There's a huge gap right there, so I'm not gonna expect much from uh, this season or, or or this cup competition, especially with the uh, with the cup or with the team that we drew against. And right here. Villarreal has another chance to get early shot by one of the players, but thank God it was uh, it was uh, it went out wide. And here comes Villarreal once again. Here comes Dembele. Good save by Sihuan Days, and here comes a, uh, um, a rebound. And we couldn't really uh, uh, they couldn't really take a shot in the end. Here comes Serrano on the left hand side, crosses the middle to Charlie Patino. But the bar saves the goalkeeper. And we are still struggling to find, you know what, to find chances, to find goals. And here in the 51st minute, here comes, I believe that's Musa Dembele to Rafa. But good save by Sejuantes. And Sejuantes, again, a very, very, I would say he's a um, Iker Castilla's regen and of course it's very nice to see him and unfortunately right here somebody picked up an injury serrano the other serrano has picked up an injury doesn't look like a good one it definitely he's holding his knee hopefully it's not an acl injury but uh since then uh most 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 key i think that's how you pronounce his name uh, our youth uh, our youth player uh, stepped on and trying to replace him or you know, serrano and right here unfortunately parejo just collapsed us right there we suffered an injury already it's bad enough plus he was he is one of our uh best player in the team and of course with that goal right there pretty much uh, you know what just make us not being able to sleep comfortably even though right here we have a counter attack but again this is definitely not the day uh Ilya's right there just uh, couldn't convert it into a goal and unfortunately a 2-0 defeat to Villarreal which sees us out of the cup competition competition and nico serrano right here has suffered an acl injury which will keep him out for seven months and again we don't have much money in the transfer budget to sign another player and to be honest not quite sure if it was a uh, actually you know what mosquera that is the player who was playing on the left uh, left flank area our new player mosquera everybody just welcome him uh and yeah uh, right now i'm just kind of doubting myself whether if i should have signed a uh, left left midfielder in general but you know what there's no time to panic we just have to live with it we just have to play with it and of course right there uh muskira is going to be a very good chance for a youngster like him I believe he is 18 year old, 63 rated, and he do he does have the showing great potential tag on him. So uh, hopefully by the end of the season, most likely he will be playing the, all the games for the for the rest of the season. And uh, right here, Navarro open up the score in this game, one nothing. And uh, here comes in the 51st minute. Uh, here comes Mancini right here, take a shot, but again, Sanchez anticipated where the shot was going to go where the ball was going to go it makes a fantastic save in the end he's a mancini and uh Burgio's right here just levels one up one one and very devastating we have been honestly dominating throughout the whole game but 
one chance for them or the second chance for them they you know what made us pay right there 68th minute uh and right here oh my god injury has definitely um injury crisis that's the title of this episode injury crisis before the january transfer window coming to a close but at the same time um we don't have any money to sign any players or we don't have any well we can look for option free agency yes uh right there a uh, saiken will be pretty much will be the main striker through for the remainder of the season based on what latau was suffering through definitely doesn't look good but in the end we beat uh burgos 2-1 and a very devastating news right here seven months again injury crisis actually hitting us hard right now and uh oh it is going to be tough but you know what this is a career mode that i put so much sweat blood in it and you know what this if this is how it's gonna end i'm gonna live with it i'm gonna i'm gonna go along with the flow but right here we signed a uh, a free agent uh defender his name is barry and of course right here we are trying to sign uh robin uh, federich right here uh from rb Leipzig. but yes we are looking for a loan deal because again we don't have a striker we just need another striker at this point yes we do have stranard um as our third option but uh honestly he's not good enough but federich right there just say no to the deal straight up and even though it's a loan deal no i you know what maybe he doesn't really trust the process or anything but it doesn't matter but right here we have signed eliasson uh if uh, a swedish central attacking midfielder who was also comfortable playing on the left flank and also up front as well so we made two signings in this episode or in this video where you know what we just need a little bit more a little bit more strength or a little bit more depth in this area and it is going to be tough for sure but right here we receive a offer for robert Navar navarro 23 million for fenobachi definitely a no and that is the end of the transfer window a very devastating um a very devastating video as well a very sad <laughs> very sad episode as well losing two players through an injuries not just a mini injuries more of a big one two uh two players with torn acl it's not always fun and in the end we just kind of uh, make it up by signing two two more players but of course those ones are more like adding more uh, depth into the squad or whatever team that we have right here so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in a bit